Have you ever updated an old project with new libraries, only to find that some object has a missing script? Even worse, that script is on some prefab in the project and not in the scene view? If this has ever happened to you, you'll know finding that missing script can be a real pain. Luckily, in today's Unity's versions, when you press play, oftentimes missing scripts will come up as warnings, and on occasion, you can even press on those warnings to actually identify the object that's missing the script. But when we stop play, and then the prefab is not in the scene anymore, selecting it becomes a real problem because it's not there to be selected. This scenario recently happened to me. Luckily, I had a script on hand to help me, so I figured I would share it in a short video with you now to show you how it works. So we have an example scene here in a default Unity layout, and I will link the asset I'm using here, the warehouse asset, I'll link that in the description of this video. So if you're interested in it, go click the link and grab it from the asset store. Right, so when I press play, as you saw, the forklift spawn, spawns a forklift, I get my errors, I press on that, and there is my missing script. So let's create an editor script to find that. Close that down, come into a project view, Let's start by creating a folder. I call this folder editor, and then we'll open up editor and we'll create a C sharp script, and we're going to call this find missing scripts. And we'll open that in Visual Studio. Here we go. Okay, so not a mono behavior, so we can get rid of all that. We'll make this a static class, and we'll pull from the Unity editor library. Okay, so straight into our menu items. We'll create the path in my menu and we'll call this find missing scripts in project. Okay, let's put in the functionality. Find missing scripts in project menu item. There we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is get all the prefabs from our da asset database and start searching them. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll create a string array and we'll call this prefab paths and we'll use the asset database class, which has a function called get all asset paths. Now this would return all the asset paths and we could search through this and check the extensions, etc., to make sure that they're the ones we want, but we can also do it using the link library. So we'll bring in the link library, we'll call where, we'll put into this that we want the path, where the path ends with the extension prefab. And we'll want to make sure that we'll, we're ignoring the case, etc., because somebody might type it in wrong. So we'll do a string comparison here, and we'll use the ignore case. Great. And we'll just need to return that to an array. Good job. So we've got our prefab paths. The next thing to do is to go through them. So for each string path in prefab paths, We'll want to load that asset from the asset database and then actually search the components. So let's get the asset. Game object prefab equals asset database dot load asset at path. And then we'll give it the path we're interested in. And we want to put a caster in there. So let's put in game object. Great. So now we've got our prefab. Let's go through all the components in that prefab, check them, and we're going to check if they're null. So we use the component class and we'll say in the prefab and we'll get components in children of type prefab, of type component. Now, obviously, you see some people that use get component, but that will just give you the top level. We're interested in, are there any broken scripts, any missing scripts in any of the components of our, of our game object, not just the top level. Excellent. Right, so next we'll say, if component equals null, we found a missing one. So we'll debug log that. 
and we'll type in prefab found with missing script. Now what we'll do is we'll append the path and that will tell us where it is. But there's also another option in debug log that's often overlooked. And that's actually that you can add the item after the actual prefab and uh, after the debug log statement, the string. And what this will do is it means that on the console window, if you press on this log entry, it'll actually select the item in the project view or in the game view, depending on where this item is. So that's a real useful thing to have in your tools arsenal to know that particular point. And then we'll break out because we know that this prefab has a missing component. And that's it. Let's go back to Unity. In Unity, we have our My Menu and we've got our option here, Find Missing Scripts in Project. And if I have the console window open, let's clear that up. And I press this, there we are. Prefab found with missing script. And if I press that and I go to my project view, it selected it for us. So if I clear that down again so you can see it happen, I press on assets, come into here, clear it, find missing scripts in project. I press that and in my project view, there's my forklift. And if I open this prefab, we can see there's my missing script. Okay, now that's all well and good, but let's say we're in our scene. Let's close this down. Let's say we actually have our prefab in our scene. Now, the nice thing is if you press play in Unity when this is going, you'll get that, this, this console warning saying you've got something missing and you can press it and come in. But it means you have to press play every time just to find these missing scripts. And we have a lot of the functionality worked out. So let's actually create another menu item that basically just checks the actual scene to see if there's missing scripts in there. So we'll jump back into our Visual Studio. We'll come down and we're going to create another menu item here. Menu item. And this one's going to be my menu. And we're going to put into here, find missing scripts in C. And then we'll create a function, find missing scripts in scene menu item. Now this is much the same as what we're going to be doing here, but we're going to have a different statement and we're going to be doing a different search because we're not going for the database this time around. But what we're doing is we're getting every game object that's currently in the scene. So in game object dot find objects of type game object. There we go. So what this is doing is it's, I'm using the static uh, function from the game object class because I'm not actually in a mono behavior or an editor window. So I'm in a static class. So I want to use this static method here and we're getting all the game objects. I find all of the game objects of game object type. Now, one thing to note here is this will actually return all the game objects that are actually active, but it won't return the inactive ones which means that when they turn active, when you're playing the game, potentially you've got inactive ones that turn active. If they've got missing scripts, then they'll have missing scripts located. So what we do is there's actually an option here to put true at the end, and that basically will chest for the inactive ones as well. So that's something to note. So the next thing we'll do is we'll go through all the components as we did before on this game object. So game object dot get components, oh, get components in children. I'll type components, there we go. So that will get all the components within that game object. There we are. Okay, so again, we we'll wanna test whether the component is equal to null and we'll wanna pump out a statement if it is, debug log, Similar to the one we put up before, but we're going to just say game object in this case. Found with missing script. Again, we want to give a little bit more information. So we'll use game object dot name just to say what it is. And we'll also add game object on the end there. So the user can actually press it. There we are. 
So now we know that this game object has a broken component and we can test for it. So we'll save that. We'll come back into Unity. And now in our My Menu, we have Find Missing Scripts in Scene. We press this. There we go. We found our missing script and we're good to change that up. And that's it. A quick tutorial to find missing scripts in your project and in your scene view. If you found this helpful, let me know by hitting the like button and maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.